anyone's guess. That's for another day, clearly. That is. This is the team <laughs> contest, obviously. And this is the third of the three rotations that we're about to see in today's action. Adam Cox with his swan song. He retired after the last Commonwealth Games and his sights set on appearing in front of a home crowd. Very nice uh, double twisting front to open with. Then a one and a half. He's a really stylish gymnast. Legs beautifully locked together. Good control. Lovely straight line in the handstand. Arabian, the half turn into front somersault. He really works with great precision. Not such difficult moves now, but the execution score will be high. <laughs> Lovely two and a half to finish off there. A good solid opening for Scotland. Adam Cox then completes his floor routine. It's all up three to count. Niall Wilson, and what a competition he is having, working on all pieces of apparatus, building his experience. And what has the young lad got to offer on rigs, bearing in mind this really is a piece of apparatus for the older gymnasts. Nice steady Maltese. Cross slightly high with the shoulders, but. Uh... You can guarantee this young man can swing. Technically, the strength will come. Look at that, straight through support, no hesitation in both the double fronts. Nicely into the stroke flange. And technique, rings turned out all the way. Pinky's in, as we say. And again, lovely step. Full twist in the double straight, a little bit of a pike down, but what a good routine. A young man just crossed the maturity bridge. Adam Cox, 13.5 for Scotland. Daniel Keatings for Scotland. Now 24 years old. He was third at the, the British Championships, and when you look at the level the gymnastics that's coming out of the British camp, you can, you can understand that is a very, very good position to finish. And that is a very, very nice double-twisting double back to start with. Oh, fantastic control on the double Arabian. Suffered a very bad knee injury when he was younger and we haven't seen him. Woo! I think that was a bit lower than intended. We haven't seen, I was going on to say, we haven't seen him work internationally on floor so much, but he's very able on floor. And of course, all the pommel work is fantastic in support. Stylish. Big tumble here. What are we going to get? Two and a half twist. Absolutely no problem with that landing. Wonderful work. Now Wilson, 14.383. For England, Christian Thomas. Such a hard piece of apparatus for him because he's not the lightest gymnast in the squad. He's a big lad. And, uh, yeah, deep in the chest to make sure of the top flange position. Nice and smooth through the Emawaki, the double tuck. Very cleverly constructed, this routine. Locked his arm straight, little fingers in. 
again, smooth through the double front, this time with the pike. Very disciplined, tiny bit overcooked, but we're talking. Very, very small problem, and that was lovely. Paul Twist in the double straight, just a little skip back, but for a big man, that was hugely impressive of Riggs. At 25 years old, he's been there, he's done it, and he knew exactly what he had to do then, and that was it. And he's such a fantastic example to the younger gymnasts in the gym, always focused, always working. Keating's 14.966. What a score for him, and what a score for Scotland. I'm sure we'll see him in the floor final. Frank Baines for Scotland now. What can he do on floor? Oh! Well, the tumbles were great, but he just didn't quite nail the landing. Lovely double Arabian. And he's just looking a little bit edgy, Baines. A lot of pressure, I think, here for the home gymnasts. That was very nice, though. Whip into double Arabian. Settled a little bit. And another wonderful combination. Two and a half twist into full twist in front. Another of these beautifully prepared gymnasts. Frank Baines from the same club and coach as Daniel Purvis. Always fabulously prepared. Oh, but that will be very costly because he landed out of the floor. What a well-flighted triple twist, though. Beautiful. I haven't seen any better than that. And looking at you would never tell, would you, that that lad broke his back. He brought four vertebrae and he spent 12 weeks recovering. I mean, it's just remarkable. And not so long ago, actually, so he's really fought back well. Very nice work. A sign of nerves all the way through the competition for him, really, but... Uh... Go, Look at that, Christian Thomas with a solid 14. Come on, Max. Very well put together, that routine. Uh, Max Whitlock's all-around competition has been going incredibly well. Here he is on rings, the 21-year-old, using that body type, that swing. See that come into play here. Nice helmet across. Security he needs. Nice suspect side for Max on rings. The European security. So far, it's good. Nice technique. Sweet down step. Kutsogi, don't see one of those these days. It's a tough old skill. Double tap back through the rings. And safety through the double, double front. Lovely locked arms on the lift to handstand. Double twist in the double tuck, and well done, Max Whitlock. <laughs> I didn't even need to get rid of rings, you know. I I, I'm sure he's thinking if only this was the all-around final, because he has just been superb. What an outing for Max Whitlock. He's a toughie. And it's worth noting, we were talking about the cord and the style and the body there. I mean, he's really worked that routine for world level, hasn't he? 14.066 for Frank Baines on floor. And that was with a point four de uh, deduction, a de penalty. He really could do it very much better. Daniel Purvis, so important for Scotland on rings, and he will be equally as important for the country here on floor. Now, a few years ago, got a bronze, the final of the World Championships on this piece, 2010. Well, two very difficult twisting elements to start the routine off. Oh, and double, double in the middle, but he undercooked it. I think these the Scottish guys are feeling a lot of pressure. Uh, easy double front, though. He's so well orientated when rotating forwards. 
two and a half into front with a half. But these errors might be very costly in terms of making apparatus finals, which would be a great shame. And that's the move we've come to in expect from him. The rollout smoothly up onto straight legs. Important this final tumble. Whip into double Arabian. I think that's so hard, but he does it so well with such ease. He knew he had to go all out for difficulty after that little slip. And he didn't disappoint in that department. Big skill, though, double twisting double in the middle of your routine, and uh, it didn't pay off on this occasion. He's a great gymnast, Dan Purvis. Such is the level of this competition. Max Whitlock, another huge score, 14.433 for rings. Nobody can touch him all around. And still at 21 years old, he's not even there yet, is he? Canada on pommel horse is Zachary Clay. See, says it with the travel. And the so a good steady start for him. What a deal here, can he turn into me? He does. With that last Russian, so he's building it very nicely. It's a Tom Fay, the giant travel. Catching up the hand. Very nicely indeed. This will be much welcomed from the Canadians. Oh, and he's faltered at the last gasp. Oh, and he really lost it. You've got to stay smooth, you've got to stay focused on that handstand. He's come to grief. I'll be interested to see what happens with the rest of the Canadian team. 12.966 for Zachary Clay, bearing in mind that Wales were incredibly consistent in their competition. Well, that really was a bit of a give up at the end, wasn't it? He performed so well. Sam Oldham on rings. He's had his moments in this team final and in this qualification competition. Let's hope he can put them all behind him. The last piece of today for Sam. And uh, that Sam has struggled sometimes with consistency, but he's such a stylish, beautiful gymnast. If he goes through clean, he has so few deductions. His execution scores good. See those legs locked together, toes beautifully pointed, straight arms. Swing to hands and just a tiny fight there at the top, but he's doing well. Oh, and a big dismount. Double, double. Really impressive work from Sam, fighting back from a disappointing Connors. Showed great maturity in that performance. England are just unbeatable as it seems, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, there's a few little chinks in the armour, but when you've got four up and three to count, what a luxury for a team of gymnasts of this quality. The attack on that dismount, unbelievable. 14.533 for the attacking Sam Oldham. Great floor worker, Dan Purvis. That's a lovely combination. Well, Dan gets a 13.9 for floor. It's worth not the execution scores are really high for all the gymnasts from the home nations. Anderson Laurent for Canada. Wales and Canada in their sights. And ceases a start into D, but he's gonna lose the oh he did well to fight that handstand. Got it back. Two circles into the Russian. Into the Tong Fei, all these, of course, named after the guys that did them first. Uh, Travelling very efficiently, good catch up with the hands. A little bit of separation there. And just the sea dish man, but he'll be grateful to get through. 
13, 6-6-6 for Canada and Laurent. So that's the how things look after three pieces of apparatus. Team final, England ahead of Scotland, leading Canada and Wales are in fourth. Australia and then New Zealand sixth.